Hey everyone, okay, so this tutorial is a concealer tutorial and I've zoomed in really close and filmed in the highest aspect that I can. And what you're gonna see in this tutorial is two different ways that I'm gonna apply concealer. Very, very lightly on one side and set with a minimum amount of powder, barely anything. And on the other side, I'm gonna apply two concealers really heavily and then a huge amount of powder. And because I'm not 12, you can see when I zoom in that the skin you know it moves when you smile the skin moves and it should move so I want you to be the judge to see whether you think that less powder and concealer looks better or to really go for it and set it with a huge amount so on this side of the face I'm applying NARS radiant creamy concealer and I'm applying a very small amount as you can see and I'm gonna tap that in with my finger so this is the side that we're gonna say is the natural side so to speak so we're not going to be using huge amounts and I'm just using my finger to kind of press and tap that in. And I will set this in a moment with a small amount of powder. So this is side one. You don't need any fancy brushes. Okay, so side two, I'm going to be applying two layers of concealer. First, I'm going to be applying Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, which is a very pigmented product. And I've sheared it out slightly by because I want it to be able to move easier so I'm using it with a tiny bit of Max Fix Plus just so I can get more slip to it. So you can see I've applied a huge amount and I've applied it low down. And I'm just going to blend this in with a beauty blender because you really need to press this into the skin when you're doing double concealer which is you know pretty big right now it's always a good idea to really work it into the skin. So I'm now going to apply the NARS Radiant Concealer. As you can see, I've already done some here. And I'm going to apply more of this underneath and over, should I say, that cream concealer that we just used. So I'm layering it first with the cream and then with the liquid over and then pressing it and blending it into the skin. So this will be side two and this will be the heavy side because you can see I've used a huge amount of product. But of course, that side, of course, does look better. So back to side one, I'm going to set this now with a small amount of setting powder. So this is Tom Ford setting powder in shade number two. And I'm just applying a really small amount to the area where the concealer is. There's no other powder on the face. I haven't powdered the foundation. It's just left as is. So you can see it's a small amount of powder. Next, you can see I'm applying huge amounts of loose powder to set that concealer. And I apply three lots of this. So I'm really going to town on it and packing it on as best I can. You want the most amount on here because this is for demonstration purposes. So you can really see that I'm pressing it into the skin and I'm using the same beauty blender that I used to blend it with. So you can see lots and lots and lots of powder. So now I need to dust off that excess powder now that I know it's set. So I'm just gonna take a blending brush and I'm just going to dust off all that excess powder because we use so much we need to get rid of it. So now let's do some comparison. So we're going to look at side one and I'm going to give a big old smile so you can see all the skin moving and you can see the concealer close up and see what you think. So this is side one where we use barely any product. See skin moves. That's side one. So now let's go to side two where we used all that loose powder. Can you see that there, if anything, I think actually side two, the where we use so much product, actually looks less creased than side one because we, we press so much powder into the skin and then buffed it away that it doesn't look like it's heavily caked because of that process of really blending it and pushing it into the skin. Whereas on side one, I think personally, it just looks like it's creased more. But you be the judge. This was the whole point of this. So what do you think? I've just changed the lighting slightly by taking down and turning off one of the lights. So that's side one. And now let's see side two. There you go. So you be the judge. Let me know in the comment section below. And I look forward to reading them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.